All right, people, welcome back to Car Review. So today, we're looking at a field spell for Despots. Yeah, Despots got a field spell. What? You know, Despot uh, 9? Despot 10? Nah, nah, nah. Field spell, that's what they need. <sighs> anyway, uh, I am not the best Despot player, nor do I proclaim to be the best Despot player. Uh, I played Despots on Daily Duels. I did a deck profile. got a ton of hate, and probably because of what the things I said and the things that I did with the deck. Oh, well. Uh, you know, I'm still titled to my opinion of the deck and the plays that I wanted to make. So, you know, I got a lot of hate. It was a lot of dislikes. I think, like, maybe, like, 11 or 12 dislikes on that video. Oh, well. Anyway, uh, I played Dark Spots. I'm more knowledgeable uh, now since I played them on Daily Duel. So, I think that I have the right to at least review this card. So, Dark Spot Base. Fail spell, of course. Uh, it has three effects. Three effects. So, I'm going to review all three effects, look at them all, and determine uh, whether I like them at all. So, first effect. All Death, Monster Death Spot monsters on the field gain 500 attack and defense. Alright, so instead of my monsters being 500 generally, they'll be 1,000. Wow, that, wow, that's so much stronger. But wait, hmm. Don't Despots like to play Machine Dupe? That says 500 attack machine monsters? Damn, so you're telling me if I play this fill spell that I'm going to fuck up my Machine Dupe? Offer an additional 500 attack and defense? But I could probably get a lot more attack and defense or off a special summoning multiple Despot monsters with uh, Machine Dupe? Hmm, yeah, I don't like that. I don't, I don't think that's worth it. So, you know, first effect, don't like it. Don't like it. First effect, just like, wow. All right. So, done. Let's move on. Second effect. Once per turn, you can reveal any number of dashboard cards in your hand and then shuffle them back in deck and draw cards equal to the number of cards you shuffle into deck. Oh, so you gave them a, a Cosmo Town effect. And not even the good effect, either. <laughs> I mean, sometimes Deathbot's dead draw, you know, uh, when I was playing the deck, I, I hated Deathbot 7 8 so much that I would dead draw the them, so I guess that's okay. But, once again, you're you're putting back no, because you know your cards for unknown. And while, uh, you know, Cosmos, I definitely feel like they can pull it out better, because they have a nice combination of pilot and ships. Literally, this is just like, hey... You know, you drew them pesky 7s and 8s that you can't really do anything or pen them some because they're kind of crap. Go ahead and put them back and hopefully draw them to maybe like a, a 3 or a 4. You know, so that's okay. That's not as terrible. But still, you know, you know you're know, you going known for unknown. And of course, you know, by activating a spill spell, you're already going back. Because think about it. You open up with 5 cards, you know. And while you think like, oh yeah, I totally want to shuffle my death spot monsters back. You got to play this. And that's a neck. Fill, activating spill spells are always a neck. Always a neck. So now you're down to four cards in hand. So now even if you have this and four despots, instead of being able to shuffle five despot uh, cards, and keep in mind it says despot card. So if you're running multiple bases, you can put more bases back and shuffle them back. That's great, you know. And uh, you'd only be able to shuffle four back instead of the five. So you took the neg and you're taking knowns for unknowns. So yeah. And then one last effect. You can banish nine despot cards with different names from your side of the field and or graveyard, except despot base. Shuffle all cards your cards from your opponent's hand, field, and graveyard back into the deck. That's power. That's power. But that's a lot of setup. That is a lot of setup. So uh, nine despot cards with different names. Except for base. Except for base, because base is actually ten. So you have despot one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the Synchro Monster. That's nine. You need all your Deathbot cards. All of them. To pull off this effect. And keep in mind, Deathbot uh, 5, 6, 7, and 8 are Pendulum. So, um, unless they're on your field in your Pendulum zones, I doubt they're going to be in your graveyard. I seriously doubt that. Unless you, like, tried to Pendulum summon and they got wrecked or you, like, pinched them to the graveyard to, like, maybe Machine or something. I doubt that 5, 6, 7, and 8 are going to be in your graveyard. So, they're going to be on your field in your Pendulum scales or they're going to be on the field because you Pendulum summoned them. Which means that you had to play Shitty Ass 7 and 8 to pull off this last effect. You had to... You had to... <laughs> Banish all of them. So, like I said, if they're in your scale, banish your scales, banish the monsters that you summon, uh, you know, banish your four, your three, your two, your one that you left to have in your graveyard. Banish your synchro monsters that you really don't pull off that often in death bots to pull off this, this effect. And nine times out of ten, if you pull off this effect, that's game. Like, if you pulled that off, you deserve, you earned it. You've earned it. Because you literally got every single death bot monster in play or in the graveyard. Shuffle all my cards back in my hand, field, and graveyard back in my deck. That's the game. I'm, I'm literally top decking. I have no no graveyard, so I can't even soul charge. I mean, depending on what you have remaining, not even top decking Regeki again, but I, I have nothing. I have nothing. All the cards in hand, field, and graveyard. And returning back to the deck 
Uh, we've already discussed this. Rippling Mirror Force has the best place you can send them. Non-targeting returning. It's just, yeah. But that's a lot of setup. That's a lot of setup. And, I, and like I said, I don't like playing something Nate. So already, I, I probably wouldn't be able to, I wouldn't be able to pull all this off. Because it has to be with death block cards with different names. Like, if it was just non death block cards, yeah, you could probably pull that off. But different names? Fuck that. Like, come on. That is that's just too much. It's too much. So, let's go over it again. Additional 500 attack and defense to mess up my machine dupe. A Cosmo Town effect that's putting knowns for unknown. And then an effect that I doubt I will be able to ever pull off because I've got to play freaking shitty ass 7 and 8. And unlike Cosmo Town, you know, there's no like, uh, you know, continue the plays like Cosmo Town. Nor is there, if this card is destroyed, get a death spot card. That'd be cool. If this card is destroyed, you get to go ahead and get a death spot card from your deck. To, like, you made Cosmo Town before you made this card. You could have gave this card that fact. If this card is destroyed, go ahead and get a death spot card. You want to get another base? Fine. You want to get a different death spot monster? Fine. That might actually give this card more of an incentive. So far, and like I said, I'm not saying none of the best death spot player. I don't like this card. I don't think you should play it. Don't play in your death spots. Not worth it. And you know what the funny thing is? Unless death spot 7 and 8 come out in the TCG, if this card, you know what would be hilarious? If this card came out in the TCG before freaking Deathbot 7 and 8 did? Oh my god, it'd be hilarious, because you couldn't even play this card. Well, you could play it, but you wouldn't even be able to get that last effect out, because you need, like I said, you need 1 through 8 and the Synchro Monster. We don't have 7 and 8, and, right, you know, justifiably so. Fuck 7 and 8. I'm sorry. Fuck 7 and 8. I really don't like 6. 5 is good. 4 is good. 3 is good. 2 is good. 1 is fine. But 7 and 8? Nah. So, that's just my opinion of it. So tell me what you guys think about Deathbot Base. And if you do play Deathbots, will you be playing it in your Deathbot deck? And you know what? Like I say, if you get off that last effect, <laughs> more power to you. You deserve to win. So uh, thanks for watching this uh, episode of Carview. Thanks for all the support. And I will be back on Wednesday with another card to look at. All right, people. Thanks for watching.